Good evening and thanks for clicking on to Vogan's Views in Europe. It's Sunday evening and the sun is shining here. We've had yet another glorious day, folks, really. It's actually surprised me. It's been a sunnier weekend than I really did anticipate across many parts of the UK, including here in Lennox Town, Central Scotland and many other places. But we have got an Arctic Maritimer now starting to work its way into the far north of Scotland. It's going to produce uh, rain and it will readily turn to snow uh, as the colder air starts to work its way in on the back side of that front. That front is going to sweep southwards through the UK over the next 24 hours and what it'll do is it's going to bring rain with that front down across even drought areas so this is good sign of things to come hopefully uh, but I certainly don't think it's going to uh, last into a more dominant pattern. I just, um, I'm wanting to see more in the way of rainfall across uh, the Midlands and the south of England. They really start to dent this drought. I just don't see it unfortunately happening. Over the next 24 hours, we're going to be seeing the front working the way south. It's later tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night in ch through Tuesday that I'm most concerned about that snow, which will turn heavy over the hills. I'm more concerned about that starting to drop to lower levels by Tuesday morning, especially by the rush hour. So if you're, if you're living in, uh, for example, the central belt, Please be careful, there's going to be icy patches in the road and as well as that we may see some snow start to fall and accumulate on the roads here. For example, the AMA, especially over uh, the area of Hart Hill, that higher ground. And that will work its way southwards. Don't be surprised if you see heavy snow over the, the North Pennines. Perhaps uh, uh, the, the mountains of North Wales, Snowdonia, for example, and even parts of the higher areas of uh, of Northern Ireland, Glenshane Pass, for example, and other parts of Ireland as well. That cold air is going to work its way south. It's going to then intensify by Wednesday. After the coldest night, we'll see widely minus 3 to minus 6 Celsius under those clear skies, lighter winds, and uh, of course the very cold air mass in place. We're going to be looking at a very cold morning by Wednesday morning. That cold air will be firmly established, clear sunny skies. We're going to be talking about temperatures struggling, though 3 to 6 Celsius widely across Scotland, and uh, perhaps 6 to 8 Celsius across many parts of England and Wales as well. But if you notice here, as I skip through by Friday, folks, the cold air is starting to leave. This time of year, they just don't hang around. The cold air just struggles. Notice that by uh, Saturday, you've got a pretty uh, decent uh, northerly flow. It might not be that warm across the north. Further south across parts of England, we're going to be seeing those temperatures boost back up to 13 or 14 Celsius. By Sunday, you notice here the, the, the next uh, trough starting to work its way in. Is that going to push into the, um, the UK uh, into uh, Monday morning? Yeah, it will be. It certainly isn't looking as cold as this, uh, this shot that's just arriving in the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. But it certainly has got another trough. Is that going to bring more rainfall? That is a possibility. Could we be seeing a slight change in the overall pattern from the dominance of high pressure? That is a, a possibility, I believe. But let's just keep monitoring the situation. It really would be good to see more in the way of rainfall, especially across the drought areas. But even up here across Scotland as well, it certainly isn't uh, all that wet now, as we've seen high pressure dominate and those warm temperatures increasing that evaporation rate of those soils. The trough here by next Wednesday, this is the 11th of April, and that would uh, suggest a more unsettled pattern. Keep checking back. I'll keep you posted. Bye-bye.